It's a sunny Saturday morning in Wallops Island, Virginia at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility, and you're looking at a live view of the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport Pad 0A. What you see right now is the Antares rocket with the Cygnus spacecraft ready for launch in just under 30 minutes on Northrop Grumman's 12th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. Cygnus will be delivering over four tons of cargo to the International Space Station, and after its launch today, it'll make a two-day journey, arriving Monday, November 4th. A total of over four tons, over 8,200 pounds, will be launching to the space station this morning. That's over 1,700 pounds of crew supplies, over 4,242 pounds of utilization equipment, which is uh, science experiments and other hardware, 203 pounds of spacewalk equipment, another 1,561 pounds of vehicle and system equipment, and 31 pounds of computer resources. So the NG-12 is the first flight of the Antares 230 Plus configuration. And the difference from Antares 230 are the upgrades to the Stage 1 core. Um, it's also a lighter composite structures and an optimized second stage mortar. Uh, the upgraded Stage 1 core allows Antares engines to perform at full thrust throughout most of the first stage profile. Uh, with these upgrades, we're, uh, we're able to offer NASA more cargo capability for their CRS-2 missions by increasing the performance of Antares. We're also providing more flexibility for the final cargo load as well. And, and this figure you can, everyone can see is the, the differences, and you can see um, in comparison how much we've kind of taken off, and there's definitely lots of mass savings for us for 230+. plus. All Cygnus vehicles are named after people who have made significant contributions to spaceflight but have passed away, and this vehicle is named after the late Apollo and Skylab astronaut who died on May 26, 2018, at the age of 86. That's Alan Bean. It's very appropriate that Cygnus is named after Bean on this mission. It launches 50 years to the month after uh, Alan Bean, Pete Conrad, and Dick Gordon flew to the moon on the Apollo 12 mission, in which Bean became the fourth human to walk on the lunar surface. He was the lunar module pilot aboard Intrepid with Mission Commander Conrad when they landed on the moon at the Ocean of Storms on November 19, 1969. Four years later, he commanded the second crewed Skylab mission, Skylab 3, which launched on July, July 28, 1973. Bean, Owen Garriott, and Jack Luzma spent 59 days in space aboard America's first space station. T minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Performance nominal. Interperformance nominal. Estimated alpha, one degree. BNO3 is open. Engines remain at 100% and steady. Beginning of load release. Power is nominal. Estimated alpha one degree. Engines remain at one hundred percent and steady. Power is nominal. Load release phasing out. The NG three is open. Roughly 100 cents, seconds to Miko. Everything proceeding smoothly, about 100 seconds till main engine cutoff. Uh, just passing 100,000 feet. 
100 feet per second squared. High altitude pitch up at five degrees. Enabling velocity steering, engines remain stable. One minute to Miko. Engines remain at 100%. Attitude is nominal. VNO4 and VNO5 activated. Power nominal. Just passing 200,000 feet. Slow throttle down to 80% initiated. Main engine cutoff coming up in about 15 seconds. Engines 55%. Engines remain nominal. Main engine cutoff, nominal. PSS disabled. Stage one separation. ACS enabled. Attitude nominal. You can see in this graphic, sickness is separated from the stage one, and in the next few minutes, seconds, we'll be looking for the fairing separation. That's the shroud that covers and protects Cygnus during its launch. Stage one ignition time projected at T plus 245. Fairing separation. Interstage separation. Stage two ignition. Stage two is that solid rocket fuel that will burn for about two minutes and 43 seconds. Attitude nominal. Stage two burnout. Spacecraft separation. Team celebrating the confirmation of the spacecraft separation. Cygnus is now flying on its own. Maneuver initiated.